Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing when does no contact start working after a breakup? I provide audio coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details, www date me dot tips please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me so now let's get back into today's podcast and today we are discussing when does no contact start working after a breakup if you have been through a breakup then you might have heard of the no contact rule This is something lots of people suggest you implement if you want to try to get your ex back. But if you implement the no contact rule, when does it start working? In today's podcast, I'll be explaining three things to consider when we ask the question, when does the no contact rule start working after a breakup? If you are implementing the no contact rule, please let me know in the comments how you are feeling about your journey of using the rule. What are your experiences so far? Share your thoughts and feelings so that other people who are considering using this method will understand what your experience has been like. So please let me know in the comments your thoughts and feelings on the no contact rule. So let's get straight into today's podcast and point number one is it depends on the version. So there are many different versions of the no contact rule that you can find online and I believe that my version will give you the best possible chance of success. So I suggest that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can familiarise yourself with my version of the rule. But as I've just said, there are different versions of the rule and depending on the version that you decide to implement will dictate if and when the no contact rule will start working. Because if you use some of the other rules, some of the other versions that I've heard online, which are referred to as different people's concepts of the no contact rule, I believe that this can actually diminish the possibility of you one day getting your ex back. So whereas the aim of using the no contact rule is to try and increase the chance of one day getting your ex back, I believe that if you use some of the other versions of the rule that you can find online, this will actually negatively affect your chances of success. One of the variants of the rule which I'm really strongly against is the 30 day no contact rule. You might have heard this online, you might have read about this, you might have seen this. I do not believe in the 30-day no-contact rule and I believe that this will cause yourself a possibility of losing the chance of reconnecting with your ex. The 30-day no-contact rule basically suggests that if you have been dumped, you need to wait 30 days after the breakup and then reach out to your ex. Seemingly, it doesn't matter whether or not your ex has contacted you in this time, and after 30 days, you reach out to your ex. Additionally, if your ex has contacted you during 30 days, then you don't respond to them because 30 days has not passed. So I do not believe in this version of a no contact rule. I think it will actually cause you a lot of harm. And there are similar versions, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, in a similar concept to where they suggest that if during this initial time period you hear from your dumper, then you should not respond. But then when the time period runs out, when you hit that 30, 60, 90 day period, you reach out to your ex, even if you haven't heard from your dumper during this time. So for me, this is all wrong. For me, this will decrease the possibility of you one day getting your ex back. But it's important for me to say here that nothing works 100% of the time and nothing fails 100% of the time. And you never know the mindset of your former partner during the period of time and what you are doing. So in essence, your former partner might be on the verge of reconnecting with you anyway. And then you behave in a way 
which is something that I don't suggest, and you find success, and that is because that you didn't realise that your ex is wanting to reconcile with you anyway. That was already going to happen, but you jump the gun maybe by a day or so, and you've got away with it. So what I'm trying to get across here is that nothing works 100% of the time, nothing fails 100% of the time. So even though I believe that my version of the no contact rule will give you the best chance of success, I can't guarantee it will work every single time. And even though I'm suggesting that you don't listen to rules such as the 30 day no contact rule, I can't say to you that that will fail 100% of the time because of all of the other dynamics and reasonings that are impossible to know in each unique situation. All I can do is tell you that to increase the possibility of success, you really need to be checking out my no contact rule playlist on my YouTube channel and fully immerse yourself and understand my variant of the rule. Because although I can't guarantee it will work 100% of the time, what I can say say is it will increase your chances of success and that is all we can do nothing can be guaranteed and the aim is to increase your chance of success and my variant of a rule will give you that extra edge in trying to get your ex back ahead of some of the other versions of a rule such as the 30 day no contact rule which i truly do not believe in so now let's get into the second point of today's podcast about when does no contact start working after a breakup and point number two is it depends on your position so additionally, in considering what version of a rule you need to use, we also need to consider what position are you in? Are you a dumper or are you a dumpy? If you are a dumper, then I believe that you should implement my version of a no contact rule after you have sent your former partner, the dumpy, a text. Now, I have explained in other podcasts what I believe should be typed in this text. We're not going to dwell on that right now in today's podcast. But what I would say is that it's very important to understand the position that you are in when you are considering using no contact. Because if you are a dumper, then I believe that you need to send your ex a text message first and then implement my version of a no contact rule. If, however, you are a dumpy, you need to implement my version of no contact, ASAP. The sooner, the better. Now, of course, when you go for a breakup, emotions are going to run high. People are going to say things which they might regret. And in essence, a breakup is a very messy period of time. So it is unlikely that you will be able to implement my version of a no contact rule instantaneously after the breakup. There is likely to be a little bit of drama at the very least. But the important thing is that if you are a dumpy, you implement my version of a rule ASAP. You know, as soon as you can, as soon as you understand, you need to start implementing the rule. If this means it's the following day after the breakup, then good for you. If this means it's the following month after the breakup, then good for you. The sooner you implement the rule, the better. And it is never too late. It's never too late to start implementing the rule. The sooner you can do it, the more you increase the possibility of you one day getting your ex back. But we have to be realistic on things and it's unlikely that you will implement it straight away. Things are going to happen. You have just been dumped. You are going to want to get your point across. You are going to want to reason with your ex. You are going to try and sort out this situation. This is understandable. This is natural. Emotions will run high. The important thing is that once the breakup has been made clear, once you fully understand that your ex, the dumper, has made this decision and they are not going to change their mind, you need to implement the rule ASAP. The less you beg, plead and reason, the better. But as I've just said, we have to be realistic. You are likely to have done some of this before you implement the rule. It's unlikely that you will have a clean no contact instantaneously. Unless you're fully immersed in the rule, 
then this is unlikely to happen. Normally, people search out the rule in the desperation of trying to understand what they can do once they realise that begging, pleading and reasoning don't work. So don't beat yourself up if you're not even implementing the rule for weeks, if not months, after the breakup. The sooner you implement the rule, the better. But if you can implement it hours or days later, then that will increase your chance of earlier success. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast about when does no contact start working after a breakup. And point number three is right type, right time. So if you implement my version of a no contact rule at the right time, dependent on your situation, then it will start working instantly. So the answer to the ultimate question is if you implement the right version at the right time, the no contact rule will start instantly working on your ex and also working on you. We have to understand that the no contact rule isn't just about trying to get your ex back. It is enabling yourself to find yourself once more, to grow as a person and to become a version 2.0 of yourself. There is no 100% guaranteed way to get your ex back, but if you do everything right, then it's win-win. You will either get your ex back or you'll find somebody even better. And that is because if you implement the right rule at the right time, you will increase the chances of you becoming a version 2.0 of yourself. You take yourself out of the firing line of the stress, of the anxiety and of the drama of the breakup. You go through breakup recovery and then you start to find strength. You start to go through daily self-improvement, becoming a better version of yourself today than you were yesterday, a better version of yourself tomorrow than you are currently today. If you do all of these things, then even if you don't get your ex back, you will find somebody even better because you would have grown your attraction net. And therefore, implementing my version of a no contact rule isn't just about trying to get your ex back. It's about healing yourself and then moving forward into growth. Therefore, the no contact rule will work instantly because as soon as you start implementing it, you are beginning to recover. And once you begin to recover, you can start to grow, improve and increase the chance of you finding somebody even better than your ex. Whilst you implement my version of a rule, you will therefore increase the chance of you becoming a better person, a more attractive person, whilst at the same time causing your ex to start to think of you, wonder about you, creating intrigue, and slowly but surely growing romantic emotional attraction. When two people are in a relationship, they are both feeling a high level of romantic emotional attraction for one another. For various potential reasons, this level dropped. And that is why you were dumped. Because if you have been dumped, then that means that the dumper lost romantic emotional attraction for you. It hit a certain low point, And that is why they ended the relationship. The only reason somebody will consider reconciling is if that level of romantic emotional attraction has reached the necessary high point once more. And therefore, if you implement my version of a no contact rule, you are starting a chain of events in which slowly but surely your ex will begin to wonder about you, grow intrigue and start to gain romantic emotional attraction once more. Now, depending on the relationship, the breakup and the aftermath will dictate how low this level of romantic emotional attraction has fallen and hence how much attraction needs to be grown before they consider reconciling. Sometimes it is so much that needs to be grown, but unfortunately it never gets to that point. If there is a very low level of attraction left, then this means it will take an awful lot of time to get to the necessary high point, and sometimes it will never reach that moment. It will never reach that point, and therefore the dumper will never want to reconcile. 
However, in most instances, the level of romantic emotional attraction has not dropped to a point of no return, and therefore, after a number of months of behaving in the correct way, a dumpy can in most instances grow romantic emotional attraction in their dumper's mind to the point of where the dumper is feeling intrigue and they will reach out to their ex the dumpy. And therefore, you have the opportunity to go through the communication stage, the meeting stage, and quite possibly reconnecting with your ex in a brand new relationship. So in answer to the question, when does no contact start working after a breakup? If you use the right version, if you use it at the right time and behave in the correct way, then no contact will work instantly slowly but surely increasing the chance of gaining intrigue in your ex's mind whilst also slowly but surely helping yourself through recovery and also allowing yourself to have a time space and ability you might say to become a better person in every single way if you have time and space and the enthusiasm to grow you will become a version 2.0 of yourself. It's win-win. You either get your ex back or you will find somebody even better. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that Help you get them back, or we can help find you someone else Yeah, yeah, Vincent Bo, the relationship coach uh, Giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach Date me dot tips, go and check the site uh, Giving you advice, helping with your love life Get your ex back, or move to the next Ain't no sweat, you know Vincent Bo got you Finding love, ain't no problem, yeah Date me dot tips, check it out now